My favorite saying is things hard but dirty tough, but you can't do nothing about dig it up and try. <laughs> when trouble catch you, shirt fit you. Yeah, which means that, you know, when you're in problems, you can, you have to just manage the best way you can. Any, any port or storm, anything that you need to do to help you. My, one of my favorite sayings came from my uncle Eddie, which he used to say, I burn your barn, so I put them put yourself. <laughs> which means, was you born like that or is it, did they make you that way? Did they make you go that way? <laughs> which is very good. <laughs> It wasn't necessarily from my parents, it was actually from my great-grandmother who I grew up with in Jamaica. She used to say things like, we're sweet to go and so are you. Basically, be careful what you're doing because all the nice things that you think you're doing might not be as nice as they think. As soon as the cock, take off, the cock, um, put, put on his blue drawers, I'll be up. So that's the one a good Jamaican say. <laughs> Well, as, as the day break, the cock always first up, isn't it? The cock always crow in the morning to wake you up. So that means it's early. So as early as it is, you'll be up to do whatever you want to do. Make sure you close that door before you go out. <laughs> and wash up them fat. See and blind, hear and deaf. That means do not interfere in people's business. And I am glad for that one because I don't like interfering in people's business, although they will interfere in mine. When I used to go go ride my bike and to the into the quarries and that, and you say, "Boy, I'm not telling enough to go back by the water. You aren't dead." And then enough times you just get beat for going up by the quarries and that, you know. Saying goodbye or see you later. See you later is the English term. But we in Jamaica used to say walk out. One of my favourite sayings from Jamaica is, what sweet nanny goat, I go run in belly. <laughs> and um, and um, that means, you know, whatever makes you happy is going to come back to haunt you. <laughs> Favourite sayings from Jamaica that my parents used to say is, um, look on that Monday. How come my mum walks so funny? One foot I draw a cord and one I set table. Right? Which may, basically means is unbalanced. And I used to listen to that and think, what? Where did you get that from? That's, it's, it's not natural. It's natural to them. You know? Um, <laughs> Pick me, sit down. I have manners. In children, you must be, you must, for instance, if children are disbehaving, and I said, sit down and be quiet. Sit down and be quiet and have respect. Oh, herring and shad. And we used to think, herring and shad. Oh, life of mackerel, herring and shad. I think, what on earth does that mean? My old man told me, the life of the mackerel, the herring and the shad, was a life never to be admired. Working hard and ending up in brine and salt. And uh, he said, work hard, but make sure the outcome is the good result. Not like a herring and a shad or a mackerel. Yeah, um, favorite sayings, I suppose, is there's plenty of Jamaican sayings for every occasion. But I suppose when we used to hear the most that you had to take heed was if you're not here, you will feel. And that doesn't necessarily mean physical, you know, it could mean, you know, metaphorically, you know, so don't think say I beat where I get every second, you know? Yeah. A normal saying what my what my mum always told me and I tell my chefs in my restaurant is just watch the pot. Do exactly what I tell you to do and watch the pot. As simple as that. Uh, the only thing I know about phrases is my grandmother always gives me her backhand. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're no better than yard. <laughs> Which means there's no place like Jamaica. <laughs>